first exercise is step ups and you do this with a bench or a step or anything that you can step up on. This is good for your quads and your glutes and your balance. Make sure you're using something sturdy. The higher the step, the more you're going to work your glutes. The lower the step, you're mainly working quads and balance. So if you really want to bring in your glutes, make the step higher where you have to really reach up. And you also want to make sure that you're not bouncing off the bottom. Next up, we have the balance board tree pose. And you're going to do each side. This is supersided with the last exercise, which means that you do the step ups and then you do a balance board tree pose on each side then you rest then you go back to the step ups and then balance board tree pose on each side and I did four supersets of these two exercises so don't forget to look in the description box below so you can see any weight that I used along with reps that I did for each exercise that's on this video and if you don't have a balance board or any of the bands that I used in this video I'll post links below where I got everything when you're doing this balance board tree pose you want to stand in the center of the balance board feel your balance you're going to shift your weight over to the leg that you're standing on and then slowly pick up your leg when you feel balanced and the lower you put your foot on your leg the easier it makes it the higher you bring your foot up on your leg makes it harder it's also harder when you bring your hands in front of your chest and raise them above your head and then if you can actually look up towards your hands that's the hardest position the next two exercises we have are side step ups supersetted with plank band scissors. These are the side step ups. They're similar to the regular step ups, but you aren't alternating legs. You're staying on the same side and they're going to work your hips and glutes and balance a little differently than the regular step ups. These I think actually work your balance a little bit more. After you do one set of these you're going to go to the plank band scissors and do your reps there and then you rest after that second exercise. I did three sets of this superset. So these are the plank band scissors. These are the ones you do after the side step ups. You're going to use a band around your ankle and get in plank position Make sure your core is engaged, make sure your shoulders are over your hands, and you're going to jump in and out. This is good for core, chest, lats, shoulders, triceps, hips, abductors, conditioning, and stamina. I used a yellow band and did 15 reps each time. This next exercise I did all by itself. This is the balance board dumbbell pass. This is good for balance core, light shoulders, focus, ankle strength, and abductor depending on how high you want to lift your leg out to the side. Each time you do a pass and your hand is reaching over your head, you're working your shoulders and also your core because we're just using one dumbbell. Every time the dumbbell comes off to one side, you have to use your core to balance yourself to keep from falling over towards the weight of the dumbbell. I used a three pound dumbbell and did three sets of these of about about 8 to 10 passes on each leg. It's definitely one that will help you get a better ride. And this is a new band that I just got. It's really great for abductors and we're going to use it for the Seated Fit Girl Band Abductors. I'll post the link for this band below. This is a really really good band. I just got it and I really liked it and on this exercise I did it by itself and I did four sets and you want to make sure that you sit on the very edge of the bench or a chair or whatever you're going to do it with. Your feet are a little wider than fist width apart and then you're going to just press out as wide as you can. Just really feel those hips, those abductors, glutes, and my reps were first set 20, second set 18, third set 18, and last set 15, and I didn't rest very long in between each set at all. Maybe only about 15 to 20 seconds. 
if that. And remember, you want to try to push out as wide as you can. You're feeling your glutes and your abductors really flex from inside. You're using those muscles to push that band out and you want to try to push it out as far as you can. The next exercise are called single leg deadlifts and I did these by themselves. I did two sets. I used a five pound dumbbell. These are good for glutes, hamstrings, and balance. And when you do these, you want to focus on your glutes and your hamstrings. Every time you come up, you want to feel your glutes flex and you want to think of a flat back and also think of rotating at your hips and glutes and not your back. I hadn't done these in a while. I got better as I went on where you're almost making a T when you go down. So from your head to your toe is almost parallel to the ground or at least that's what you're trying to do. The leg that you're standing on you want to make sure that your knee is locked and when you're reaching down you don't want to think about lowering the weight you want to think about rotating at your hips and glutes to feel that stretch in the back of your leg. And I used five pounds and I did 10 reps on each leg. I would have done three, but because I hadn't done these in a long time, I knew I was going to get sore and I did. I got pretty sore the next day. Next up are standing single calf raises, And I just did one set of these, 10 on each side, because this is something that you guys can do if you don't have a gym. I went ahead and did the machine that I'm doing this on. I did my calf raises on the leg press here, but I wanted to show you what you can do if you're not in the gym doing this. Everything else in this workout doesn't require the gym, and I wanted to add this in here so you could get your calves too without having to have a gym. You can do these on a step or anything that allows you to stretch your heel down so you get a good stretch in your calf. And like I said, I only did one set of 10 reps on each side just to show you guys what they were. But I would suggest maybe three sets of at least 10 on each side, if not 15 or 20. And this is a calf stretch that I like to do after calves because they always feel really tight. So you want to put your toe up on something higher and keep your legs straight and you want to make sure you push your hip in. You want to push your hip forward and not let your butt go back like this because when you do that you don't get a stretch. So you want to make sure you're pushing that hip forward keeping the knee straight. I ended up doing the leg press calf raise and I did three sets with 55 pounds. I did the first set I did 20 reps and the second and third set I did 15 reps. So that was our workout for today. I hope you guys like this. If you give it a try, please comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm going to add more workouts like this on our channel because I think this is part of owning horses and getting a better ride is taking care of yourself and exercising. I never really noticed how much until I got hurt in 2015. I had a couple horse injuries and couldn't work out for a while, got depressed, and I mentioned that in one of my other videos. And you kind of lose touch of your body when you're not working out and taking care of yourself. So for me, it makes a big difference. See you guys next time. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.